Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. It is great to have you here. Um, so today's video is uh, it's going to be a mix up of a couple of things. Um, so firstly it's just going to be a little bit of an update, um, just sort of what's going on, um, why I haven't put a video out in like a month. <laughs> Um, and then uh, I've got an exciting announcement about something new that's coming and then it's just going to be a little fabric and tiny yarn haul. Tiny, only a little bit of yarn. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So first of all, just an update to say, uh, sorry there's been no videos. Um, basically, I've said many times before um, on this channel, I have a chronic illness called ME, which is chronic pain and fatigue. Um, and I basically just burnt myself out. I took on too much in June and um, yeah, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so I've calmed things down a bit. I have slowed it all down. I'm back now to, yeah, being on top of things a bit more, which feels really, really good. Anybody who has a chronic illness will know it's really hard when like all the opportunities come and you want to say yes, but you don't have the health to do so very frustrating. Anyway, um, so hopefully over the summer I'm wanting to do a video every other week which I'm hoping to put out on a Sunday. It would be really great if you wanted to subscribe and um, yeah you'll get to be notified when those videos come out because there's some really exciting things coming. Um, just an apology for the lighting as well. It is a really sunny day today um, and the sun is going like there's just a few clouds but it's going in and out so if I'm like white and then darker <laughs> it's just the sunshine's a bit mad at the moment um but yeah um oh I should let you know what I'm wearing um so this is I put this in a previous video in my um spring makes video this is my um lotter dress that I made with a vintage bed sheet um which I really love because it has this like pattern here and then flowers there I can't really see <laughs> but yeah this is my lot of jumpsuit which um jumpsuit dress which is uh Tilly and the Buttons pattern okay so now on to the exciting announcement so I have got a new series coming on my channel which I am super super excited for um it is called Inside the Craft Room um and it's basically going to be an interview um probably every maybe one a month we'll see how it goes um with a crafter um you know could be anything from a quilter to a sewist to a knitter to a crocheter i'd like i, I want to sort of interview uh people who do all different crafts um all about yeah their craft and and the things that they make and uh, how they learnt and all that kind of stuff um so i'm really excited to announce that the first guest is going to be sophie from the knit pearl girl so a lot of you will probably know sophie from instagram um so that will be the next video coming up which is going to be um yeah an interview with her um it's an hour long which um isn't actually that much of a surprise because we just chatted about pretty much anything and everything a lot of knitting but also like brexit and house prices and <laughs> all those random tangents that we went on um so yeah it was really 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 fun um but yeah there will be more guests coming later this summer um so keep an eye out for that subscribe and you'll be notified when those come out um so yeah now let's get on to the fabric haul so i've just got um four fabrics for you four summer fabrics which this is probably going to be my last um lot of summer like summery fabrics now i'm probably going to be moving more into autumny stuff because i'm not going to buy anything for a little while now because i've got quite a lot to get through so i'm not going to buy anything now i don't think until september and then i'm going to be buying autumn stuff so this is like last of the summer stuff so um let's start off with the ginghams um so yeah i blame brogan for this from the crafty pie she's got me really into gingham this year <laughs> um so this has been washed but not ironed so excuse the sort of crumpledness of it but this is the first gingham that i got which is a beautiful red gingham 100 percent cotton from textile express i got it in their jubilee bank holiday jubilee weekend sale which was i think what was it was it 20 percent off or something i don't know it was a good deal um 
so yeah I grabbed some of this um and yeah it's really lovely and with this I've decided I want to make um another lot of dress like this except I think I'm going to shorten the bodice slightly because the lot of dress has this kind of um I'll show you this kind of oh <laughs> I don't know if I can show you so it has this overhang here um like this it sits like that and there's an elastic waist um so that's the style of the lotta but i've seen other people who've done it where they have shortened the bodice so that it just goes in at the waist with elastic and there's no like overhang so that's what i'm going to try and do with this fabric um yeah which i'm really excited to have a go doing that because i think that like this was a really great practice and i found it really easy make so it's going to be really nice to have another one it's beautiful lightweight fabric and i just feel like red gingham is super summery i've got um a week away on a writing residential um in july end of july so it'll be a really nice dress to wear um on holiday that's at the seaside so i feel like <laughs> seaside colors with the red gingham um and then the gingham obsession doesn't stop there because <laughs> my next fabric is another gingham um this you can't really tell it looks almost black on camera but it is actually a dark navy and white um and i really really want to make a gingham skirt like a midi length skirt in at the waist and if i can buttons down the front i'm not sure whether i can be bothered to put the effort in whether i'm just going to put a zip in the back um but i would like to do the buttons at the front if i can and i think it'll look really pretty and it'll look a bit more relaxed with buttons down the front and then like t-shirts and um trainers so again it's exactly the same as the red it's the same it's 100 percent cotton really lightweight really lovely fabric um so yeah i think that's going to be really really cute to make a little skirt out of okay so my next fabric is absolutely stunning um now there's a bit of a story to go along with this one so i saw um a dolce and gabbana dress i'll pop it up here so you can see and it's absolutely stunning it's their mediterranean collection that they i think they recently brought out um and it is i think like 1800 pounds or something ludicrous um and i just thought I bet I could find a fabric and sort of make a dupe of that I could have a go because it's like a really beautiful maxi dress um so yeah I had a little look online and I found this amazing fabric a fabric godmother which is very similar it's this beautiful tiled oh it's just been washed so all the threads are like going everywhere but it's this beautiful tile print like mosaic tile print and it's just so stunning oh my gosh i'm in love with it and the drape on it as well it's beautiful i think it's a viscose so it's got like it's really breathable really lovely drape um yeah i am so pleased with this fabric oh my gosh i love it so much um so i'm not going to make like an exact copy because i'm not a huge fan of i think it's got shearing under the bust it's a very like roman style silhouette with like ties up here and then the shearing around the bodice and then it goes out which i just don't i feel like it's going to accentuate my boobs a lot and i'm i, I don't really feel like my boobs need accentuating they're quite big <laughs> so um i'm going to change it slightly i'm going to make a lovely flowy maxi dress with i think a ruffle around the bottom and uh bow sleeves so i'm going to use the grace dress pattern i'll pop up a picture and i'm just going to hack it slightly to add a ruffle around the bottom and i think that's going to work really really well and i think that's just going to be stunning i wish i had an italian holiday to go on and wear this um but i think i'm going to wear it i think we're going to go away for my husband's birthday for a spa um night away in a nice hotel in the cotswolds so that's you know italy cotswolds same <laughs> not really <laughs> but yeah i think it would be really nice for that um i think i'm also going to make a video of sort of me doing that recreating the dolce and gabbana style dress because i think that could be quite fun to sort of look at how because i do this quite a lot now where i i find like a some inspiration on pinterest or instagram or a, a big fashion designer um and I take aspects of their stuff and try to recreate something for myself. So yeah, leave me a comment if you'd like that video because I think it would be quite fun. And then the final fabric um, is this fabric, which is really good fun. So I just explained, I bought this um, 
Corrie, who is on Instagram, I'll link her below, she's amazing, um, especially if you're a sewist with big boobies, <laughs> um, like I am, I find her really helpful because a lot of her patterns work, because she's got a big bust, so a lot of her patterns work for other big booby ladies. <laughs> um, and funnily enough, that is the uh, content of this fabric. <laughs> so this fabric is from her, she did a fabric stash um, sale, and I bought this from her which has got little boobs all over it, um, which I just love. I think that's so cute with the tiny little boobs and the nipples are like heart shaped as well. Um, so I just think that's really good fun. Um, I'm not confident enough to just go around in like a booby dress around the world. Um, so I'm gonna make some pajamas because I just think they'd be really sweet. I really need some new pajamas. Um, so I'm gonna make, I think it's the closet core pattern. Um, I'll pop it up here. Um, a little short and tops set which I think is going to be quite tricky because it's like collared and piped and there's buttons but I also think actually that's going to be really good for me to learn all those skills I haven't really done a buttonhole yet so I think that's going to be a really good chance for me to have a go at sewing um some of those things and because they're pajamas it doesn't really matter too much if I mess it up because only me and my husband are going to see them really um so yeah, I'm really excited for that, to make myself a little pair of pyjamas. I'm hoping to do it before the end of summer because obviously they're like short. So um, I want to get some wear out of them before it gets too cold. Um, but yeah, I really love it. The booby fabric. <laughs> it's cute. Um, and then my last thing is a bit of knitting. Um, so some of you may have seen before that I've done some uh, work with Quail Studio um, who design um, lots of lovely knitting patterns and things with Rowan. Um, I had the Kai cardigan from them um, in the winter. They kindly gifted me um, all the yarn and the pattern to make that. So um, I put that in, I think that was in my spring makes video, um, which is a really beautiful piece. And I've, had, I've done quite a lot of things for them. And this summer I'm also uh, working for them, um, creating content on their Instagram. So I'll link them below. So please do give us a follow um, if you want to come and see what I'm getting up to over there. I'm doing lots of knitting content and sharing like outfit ideas, styling my hand knits and things like that um, all throughout the summer and the autumn. So yeah, come over and check us out. Um, but they also said, uh, offered to gift me another project, which is really lovely of them. Um, so I am making something from their essential pastels collection, which is really lovely. There's 10 different designs in here, all in Rowan yarn, different yarns, but all cotton um, for, for spring, summer, and all in beautiful pastel shades. Um, and I'll show you what I'm making. So I'm making the Flora cardigan, which is this one, you can see. Um, so it's got like a lacy pattern design and it's made in hand knit cotton. Um, and I've decided to do mine in the shade Accrue because I think it's really helpful to have like, I just, I just love off-white. <laughs> off-white for winter, summer, spring, all times of the year. Um, so yeah, I picked up this Accrue. Oh my goodness, their hand knit cotton is incredible. It's so soft. I just like Oh, I just want to like touch it all the time. It's so lovely. I've never worked with it before, but it is really, really nice. Um, but I'm just going to change the pattern slightly because I want to wear it with summer dresses. You can see it's quite long. I'm just shortening it to sort of like just below the waist so that I can wear it with all of my summer dresses um, because that's what I tend to wear. I don't really wear a lot of like jeans and stuff, only every now and again I wear a lot of dresses. So it's helpful to have like cardigans that you can throw on when it gets a bit cooler later in the day or when, you know, the summer weather's not as, as nice as it can be. Um, so yeah, that's my last summer knit and then I'm gonna be moving into like autumn knits. Um, I was a bit like, oh, do I have time for one more? And I was like, oh yeah, okay, I'll just squeeze one more in. <laughs> So hopefully I get it done by sort of August and then I can get a bit a, a bit of wear out of it. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, so yeah, that is everything um, that I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you will join me in a couple of weeks time for my interview with Sophie. It's been so fun to record that and to chat to her um, and editing it. I was just laughing like all over again doing the edit. Um, so yeah, please do subscribe and join us and I will see you next time. Have a lovely rest of your day and have a lovely week. All right, thanks guys, bye.